looks nice. It's big. It's difficult to keep warm in the winter. It's probably just a summer cottage. Uh, let's take one of those because why not? Axe. Ooh, a book. Orange salmon. Or oh, the name's Golden Salmon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rivers, lakes, very cold waters. Selective of its color of its prey. Preferred food remains green frogs. Alright. Shaded areas downstream of waterfalls. Alright, so... Good to know. I wonder if this information will be necessary. Here, but I actually don't want to do that just yet. There is no reason for me to do that. Just going to check if there's anything in the kitchen that I want to take. Fish tank. All right, seems to be everything. That's all. We could use the axe uh, or hatchet to uh, try to grab the branch near the bridge. Now what? You got cold paws? You don't want to go outside? Look, just get in. Whoa! <laughs> Angry bear. I wouldn't be sure that just locking a, a wooden door would help. Wouldn't it just smash the door? I don't know anything about bears. There are no bears where I live. So I'm probably wrong. What I do know is video game logic, which means we are going to catch ourselves a golden salmon. Because obviously that will make us be able to distract the bear. We throw a fish at it and it goes like, fine, I'll leave you alone. I need to put that down. Okay. Can I just start fishing? Oh, she automatically puts it down. green frogs so I assume this one resembles a frog the most uh, shaded areas underneath the trees there That you couldn't wait to get your chops around that boy, huh? Orange salmon. I already have one now. What no is... point doing that. Oh. I should have done the wrong fishing first. Then you can give it to your Yuki. Although he just had a fish, so he's good. He had that old frozen one. Throw the fish through the window. Sneak out. Quickly. Mm. Oh, it just leaves. It's even better. No distraction needed. He's in Yuki heaven. His favorite meal. 
Wouldn't the bear just stick around to see if it could get more fish? Like if you found a house that magically spawned your favorite meal in front of the window, would you leave after you got one portion or would you just not stick around and go like, hey, maybe there's more where that came from. Hatchet. No? Hatchet. Uh, I can use it to chop the rope off. If I'm going to get over this chasm, there's only one solution. Of course there is only one solution. The dangerous one. Indiana Jones thing. Let's just hope this thing holds. Tarzan? Hey Yuki, come back here. That boat can jump well. Well, I'm definitely going to have difficulty going back on myself now. Yep. Hey, Yuki boy, stay. <laughs> Where is it going? Can't I just run after it immediately? Hey, Yuki, leave that bird alone. <laughs> that animal is a force of nature. <laughs> pup how do you expect me to what hey they're up there pick up the peach bravo now let's get the yankee doodle hey little yuki back to the train quick you missed her you goop she's still there and the pooch is on the loose fling another rock and let's finish it off for good <laughs> She gonna have uh, head hurt uh, bad. That's the point, Cluckhead. It's our ivory she's after. Your ivory, Igor. Quick, grab that stone and zing. Go, go. Saved by the Deus Ex Machina. I can't get to that first. F I've got a hatchet. Wow, I never thought I'd do this in my life. Never done it before. I tried wall climbing once and it was really hard. <laughs> I wasn't very good at it, unfortunately.
No. Sorry, Martin, the fish got away. She's slippery. Listen, you have to understand, Mr. Martin. She's holding all the cards. And she's in cahoots with some of the locals. Canton, you've put me in an extremely uncomfortable situation. Kate's family are getting anxious. Trouble is all our middle names if you don't bag the girl. This ain't no Manhattan turkey shoot, Mr. Martin. The only way forward is on horseback, across the snow. There's this village, and after that, there's nothing. She's gone off her nuts. Oh, shit. Seeing that um, cabaret plays back, I want to say something about that earlier, but I forgot. Um, it's, it seems like horses are a really weird choice for entertainment. Like, I get that it's quite interesting to have mechanical horses, but if that's the only entertainment your village has, surely there are more interesting things you could have than mechanical horses. Look at that, it's our old friend. I was a bit confused the first time I played this game because obviously I had no idea who, who this was and why I knew him. Wake up! Hey! Wake up! No way of getting through with those earphones on. He'll never hear me. Mm -hmm. Time to get creative. So the only one that needs to be on is the red one. I don't know. Just make all the lights go on. Uh, Boris Charo. You mm -hmm. remember him? I don't know anything about this.
I also think that this game really didn't need villains. Like the first game doesn't have a villain. It's just Kate trying to find uh, Hans through a bunch of clues and detective work and tracking him down and it works fine. There is no need for there to be villains in this type of game, I think. I, I, they're integrated in the story okay enough, I guess. Uh, with the whole small village where you meet them and they overhear you talking about the mammoths. And, and it sort of makes sense, I suppose. But the game itself did not need villains in it, in my opinion. I don't think they add much. God, Hans was on the back of that sled. I've got to find a way of getting back to the train quickly if I'm going to catch them. The train. Could just start walking, but that would be too easy. We need to wake up Boris. That's what we need to do. Uh, wait, can I go on here? Let's do that. There's a bunny in the distance. Uh, I don't know if this is the correct direction. Let's check it out. No, there's nothing here. There we go. There he is. 60, 70, 80. And is that 20? Or 15? It's not exactly 80 either, is it? How does this work then? I wonder if I missed something in the radio in the plane. Or maybe that is not relevant at all to this part. Might not be. to 17 16 maybe it's just 80 20 or maybe it's the other way around 
because I don't know how to read these. Maybe I should go back to the th plane and check what it says over there. Probably some more information there. So I guess the flight went well, the landing. Not really. I don't know if I'm trying to do two puzzles at once or if they're related at all. I have no idea. I've got to find some quicker way of getting to the train. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. Maybe I'm doing something very obviously wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe it was picking up the train somehow? No, must have been the train. As you can tell, I have no idea what I'm doing at the moment. the very first time I played this I had no problem fix it, fi finding a solution for this puzzle at all I think I found it fairly quickly I have no idea why I'm having so much difficulty with it right now maybe I'm forgetting something obvious It says four times eight there, maybe that's what I need to do. And that uh, coordinates thing is for something else. Maybe that is picking up the train. So it doesn't seem to point to me. I don't know. Not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 